I think more than anything, we calmed down. We, we didn't change our defense. Everything was still the same. No one panicked. The calm was the cure, and it proved to be the perfect medicine. Because after Eric Crouch ran it in for Nebraska's second touchdown, the Sooners dominated. So once we, we, when I say calm down, we just settled in, I think, as much as anything, not calm down, but settled in and started seeing things maybe a little better. You know, you start to see their plays develop a little better and helps you get in position. And, and the same thing offensively. I think we settled down and, and started to execute a little bit better and got into a rhythm. Well, you know, you go out there the first couple of series and don't uh, pick up first downs, uh, don't move the ball. Yeah, you got to calm down. You got to start making plays. Nebraska had two-thirds of their total yardage on those first two drives. The OU defense regrouped in a hurry. I said, I said, listen, this is crazy. I said, we're better than this. And uh, I just told him, I said, that, that you can't just go out there and, and not think you're, you know, we talk about this all week. I mean, you can be high and emotional, but you got to go out and execute with these guys. I said, they're going to, you know, they'll put 100 on us if we're out there just, you know, playing on emotion. You can't play solely on emotion. you got to play with your mind when you play these guys. Josh Heifel had only one touchdown pass, but it was the play that tied the game. Curtis Fagan was his top target on the day. Heifel was also the team's leading rusher. He had 59 yards on the ground. Well, hopefully uh, I don't have to do that too much in the future. Uh, I'd rather sit back there and throw the ball. But, um, again, when you're playing man-to-man -man teams, uh, occasionally things open up, and as a quarterback, you've got to be able to take advantage. Heifel got his biggest Heisman boost from his head coach after this game, the same coach that saw Danny Werfel play at Florida. Everyone uh, obvious to, to watch Josh Heifel is... Um, you know, has to be a Heisman candidate, uh, one of the, the, the top couple people. Uh, there's no question. You watch him perform in big games, and, and he's exceptional, and he was today. And uh, he, he is our offense. He gets us in and out of the right plays. Uh, he makes big plays. Bob Stoops had a very interesting game plan going into this contest. Did he look at Nebraska game films? Of course he did. But he also looked at past OU Nebraska games. He wanted his team to know about Sooner Magic. Was it part of a motivational factor for this team? Not that they needed any, but... No, it, it, but it was part of identifying with, with those teams and, and, and how they won and why they won. And, and, and again, that, that's your team. That, that's your... You, know, you, can, you can't take that. People can say, well, you had nothing to do with that. Well, it's still Oklahoma football, and, uh, and that's, that's part of them. And so um, I think they did start to identify with it. Was there any one play that you thought that got a reaction, the biggest reaction from? They love seeing Billy Sims run some people over. Uh, I saw the, I saw a bunch of them sort of get up out of their chairs and and uh, get excited. And the way OU ran over three top ten teams this past month, they're about to start their own history. Look, this, this is Oklahoma football, and um, and this is how it should be, and I, I think it's a factor.